What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Cheese Report Live. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Que ro con todos ustedes. As you guys see in the title, we're going to be talking about an ex employee of Jessica Spoiled. She actually went on live yesterday and will kind of expose Jessica in a way. But as always, guys, before we get started, go grab your snacks, come back, sit back, and relax. And this is a live. This is a live video, so we're gonna wait for you guys to come in, and then we'll we'll spit the cheese, man, for y'all. We'll spit the cheese. Um, but yes, guys, welcome in. Happy Monday morning. It's eleven forty-five my time. Um, I don't know what time is it where you guys are at, but hopefully you guys are having a great Monday though. So, like I said, let's wait for people to come in and uh, get into it. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. I see y'all. I see y'all. Thank you for hopping on. Appreciate that. Uh, let me just pull this up real quick, guys. And then, like I said, wait for more people to come on. Good afternoon. Oh, what time is it over there? Well, it's it's pretty much afternoon here, too. It's 11.45. It's about to be 12. Monday evening, 6.47. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Ready for the cheese, man. Happy Halloween. Oh, yes. Happy Halloween. I totally forgot. It was Halloween. I should have worn a damn costume, but I I forgot. I honestly forgot. Uh, well, who? Yes, the cheese man is here. Happy Halloween to everyone, to todos. So, like I said, an ex-employee of Jessica is Spoiled actually came out last night, or was it last night or Saturday? I don't know. But as you guys know, I don't hop on Facebook on the weekends. I have them off, right? Hello, guys. Hello. Yes. Cheese Meg Gang. Hashtag Cheese Meg Gang. Guys, if you could do me a favor, please hit that share button. That helps me out a lot. But uh, yes, she came out. And this ex-employee goes by the name of Justine Mary Ortiz. Uh, just in case you guys don't know, there you have it. Uh, it's 248 here in Ohio. Shout out, Ohio. Happy Halloween. So this, um, she went live. Let me see when she went live. Because I think it was a day ago. Uh, yes, it says a day ago. Hello, guys. Oh, sorry. Hello. Welcome in. Okay, so she went live a day ago and, you know, she she had she shared her feelings over this uh, situation, this friendship, this employment, and I'm here for it. So we're going to watch this, guys. But first things first, thank you, Rebecca, party, for the guys, 50 stars. Go. First things first, before we get started, I know I, I, I tell you guys all this. I tell you guys this all the time. You're entitled to your own opinion. I know people are going to get mad on this live, the people that really really dislike jessica okay i have my opinion you have yours stick to that whatever the case is but hopefully you guys do have your snacks because this is a long live this live we're going to review is 52 minutes um i'm not sure if we're going to review the whole thing but we're going to review a chunk of it um i'm not looking forward to this one i love jessica yes um we do have jessica supporters on the in the chat and people that really dislike jessica so like i said you're entitled to your own opinion. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into it where she's talking about uh, you know, the Jessica situation. So let's hold on, wrong button. Okay, let's get started, guys. Is anybody able to comment? All right, I had to skip it because she's figuring out her stuff. But for some reason, I'm not seeing any comments. Shout out to Salu again. Yeah, there's no comments. All right. Thank you for sending that. Your. Hold on, I gotta skip it, guys, because I'm not gonna get demonetized for music anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna get demonetized for music. Domestic violence incident last. All right. All right. I was in a domestic violence incident last year, um, in August of 2021. My husband almost unalived me in front of our children. Wow. Um, during that time, that's not cool. I was that's in a very, very, bad, very actually. dark place. And I happened to find Jessica. Now, I had found Jessica in May. And I wanted to do what she was doing. I've been doing makeup for many, many years. I am an actual makeup artist. I'm also a licensed hairdresser. I'm also a licensed esthetician. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing makeup, hair, and everything since I was 15. I am now 35. 
This is not something that I was doing to make money or any, it, it, like I did make money obviously, but it wasn't something that I was doing on Facebook to make money. This was an actual profession of mine. I hope anyway, the music stops, I went into bro. a very <laughs> dark place and I happened to start watching Jessica again. And when I started watching her again, you know, she had the baby and everything. And I decided that I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to get back into it. Now, I already had a beauty page, which I was starting. This is live for those that join. Now, you know, all that time passes. I'm watching her. I'm buying things. I, I comp The amount of stuff that I have is insane. Anyway. So, you know, it, Shelly. she funny. really did help for a while, like, get me out of that funk. Um, in May of this year, of 2022, she offered me, she had posted, I was a supporter, and she had posted in her supporters group if anybody wanted to do the admin thing and she wanted somebody to do the admin thing because she had all as what she said the 90 days the 90 dayers so she needed somebody to kind of you know regulate that and i was willing now she had put the ad and there was a bunch of people that responded me being a single mother dv incident i had reached out to her when the incident had happened because I was going to do a GoFundMe and I thought maybe she would help. According to her, she doesn't go around just helping anybody because you never know who's lying and this and that. But I have. Okay, so this is where I have my opinion on a situation like this because. Um, thank you for the 200 stars. I appreciate that. Um, Kate, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so she said she reached out to Jessica or help didn't she let me let me replay that back um just so you know we get the right wording here well as what she said the 90 days the 90 dayers thank you guys so for she the stars. needed somebody to kind of you know regulate that and i was willing now she had put the ad and there was a bunch of people that responded me being a single mother dv incident i had reached out to her when the incident had happened because I was going to do a GoFundMe and I thought maybe she would help. According to her, she doesn't go around just helping anybody because you never. OK, so that's she says she, you never know who's lying. So that's where she messed up. Um, like I said, no ill intention. I'm just here to give my opinion on this situation because you guys were blowing up my messages to cover this. So i oh thank you for the 500 stars appreciate that happy halloween danny and family thank you um i this is where she messed up she went to jessica for help she had an expectation that jessica did not meet so jessica apparently did not help her did not share her gofundme and i feel like watching this video like i said my opinion from then on that's when she started disliking jessica because she did not help her Right. I understand they might have had a um, Danny, your life seems to always pause. What the heck is going on, guys? I don't know what's going on with my life. Hopefully it stops. But I feel like uh, ever since Jessica didn't want to help her, she got upset and maybe decided to um, say the things she's going to say right now. So this is my opinion from the video I'm watching now. So let's continue watching the rest. I don't know who's lying and this and that, but I had proof. I had, you know, documents. I had orders of protection, all of that. Anyway, so in May of 2022, she offers me a job. But in April, she had, I was, you know, starting to do my makeup thing again. And I barely had any viewers. And she yeah, hold on. So someone did say, you know, it's not Jessica's responsibility to help others. Uh, totally agree. This is why, listen, I'm a cool guy. I'm a cool cat, whatever you want to call it. I don't tend to help a lot of people. I help people when, you know, I feel like when it comes to the heart, you know, um, first of all, I'm not rich whatsoever. I'm I'm still here trying to support my family in a way, um, paying my bills and stuff. So I help people when I can. And uh, yeah, I've just felt like this person, this lady thought, you know, oh, Jessica, you know, Jessica's wealthy, maybe in her opinion, and uh, she could help me out. I don't know if that was a case, though. I don't know. Um, yeah, you shouldn't have expected that from anybody, I guess. So 
Yeah, that's where you messed up, I feel like. So let's just keep watching. Shared me out because I was a part of her supporters group and I had shared my live into her supporters group. She shared me out to her personal, you know, her Jessica is spoiled page. And I ended up getting a lot of followers and a lot of people. Now, here's what a lot of mo my new followers had said. Mm -hmm. Jay, we found you because of her, but we stayed because of you. <laughs> that says a lot. Anyway, so she ends up offering me a job to be an admin. And it was $10 an hour, four to five hours a day. And I went hard. She would go live and I would be live. I would get off live. $10 an hour, five hours a day. That's like 50 bucks. Okay. Just to go okay. admin for her. I am a single mother of two. My children were sleeping and I would be up until 5, 6 a.m. clearing out her inbox and starring the, the important messages like the chicken dinners, you know, people who had won things or needed information about things or needed links. I would star them and I would make sure that she had got access to them. So my, my question is, like, did Jessica ask you to go this hard? It's just a genuine question, right? Because for $10 an hour, I wouldn't go hard for anyone. That's not a lot of money, right? Um, so she's saying, you know, she was working overtime, starring stuff, starring messages, deleting messages, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, I don't think I would go above and beyond for $10 an hour. Just my opinion, right? Um, you pay me minimum wage, you're getting minimum effort <laughs> from me. I was getting bullied for a little bit while I was doing my lives and the bully made her way into the supporters group just to follow me. And when I reached out to Jessica about it and I explained to her that this girl was following me and saying this and doing that and going on lives and yada, 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 she told me, just ignore it. Funny. Because she can't seem to igno ignore any of the exposed pages. So I find the irony Ooh, of it all. Burn. Anyway, so that was in May. So I start working. Yeah, I don't think Jessica should have said, you know, just ignore it because it's hard. I mean, I understand where she's coming. Like, just ignore, you know, it's people on the Internet and it's just one person coming at you. Yes. But that person, it's like if, if the bullying continues, it's hard to ignore it. But I, I guess I know what she means by it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That's I don't think that was a good move from Jessica. Just my opinion. I don't think it was a good move to tell her just ignore it because Jessica does know where, you know, how other pages are. And it's funny because she said this and we're going to talk about other pages, not well, not pages, pages, but one page in particular, because. Yeah. <laughs> and I am busting my butt. There was a few times she didn't pay me on time. There was a few times where she shorted me money. There was a few times where she had to double check my hours because she just wanted to make sure. Because I guess being frugal. As an employee employer if some if i hired someone yes i would do the same thing you know i'm paying you money to do a certain job yes i would check for hours and stuff if you got the job done <laughs> a personal a personal situation ended up occurring and i lived in pennsylvania at the time and it was an emergency that i got to new york it had to do with my children it had to do with the fact that i needed to be in new york and she, I asked her for help, being that I was working. I thought maybe a cash advance. She offered that cash advance. She offered that cash advance to then ghost me a whole week. And I can tell you the way I got to New York was my followers, my supporters. And I don't have a big page. I actually shut down my page because of this woman, because I was afraid that if I spoke out that I was going to get hate. So I shut down my beauty page. Sorry, guys, I'm going to have to pause it. So I see a lot of comments saying it keeps, you know, pausing or whatever. If you guys want, you could leave and come back. Maybe that would help. 
I honestly don't know what's been going on with my lives. I see people saying it's good, people saying it's bad. So, yeah, maybe try that. I don't know if you've tried it, but because I yeah, see maybe that helped. the type of minions cuz she made me one. When exposed, when that main exposed page was exposing her because of the dirty diapers and the this and that. You know, there's some things you can't defend, but I felt like I had no choice. So I had a fake Facebook that she made me go on exposed and defend her from. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> she also had her minion Emily do the same, who, by the way, ended up taking my job to do it for free. And exposed. I don't think I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I don't think it's the actual exposed page. It's another page. Um called exposing scammers and shenanigans um i think that's what they're called because they have two so i don't know which one it is so it's that one and then i feel i feel like she's strongly talking about that one though not expose um with the black picture not that one so just to when i'm a single mother of two fighting for stability for my children i was called a friend by jessica and you know what i responded to her back with if I was a friend, then why haven't you asked me how I'm doing? If you see that I hadn't been working for you for a bit, and you know that there's a personal situation, and I'm your friend, did you check, on, did you check in on me? Once. No, you know what she did? When she knew I had lawyer's fees. Back and forth fees to get from New York to Pennsylvania. So the whole friend thing, I might, I, I don't know, it might be like Jessica trying to be nice to um, her, you know, just as, as a nice way. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> She's, she sounds really upset. Yeah. Trying to get my kids new sneakers because their sneakers didn't fit them and their father was not paying child support, which she also knew. She knew a lot about me. I confided in this woman. Yeah, but Jessica's not responsible to help you for what's going on at home you know she's just an employer she just hired you for work <laughs> and i got crap when i needed the income the most that's when she gave me this i cannot pay you any more than a hundred dollars a week going forward I'm struggling myself. My business is struggling. You see my views. But she was on vacation. Maybe a vacation that was planned already. I told you guys, I don't know when I told you, maybe three, I don't know, when I first started. So if you guys don't know, influencers, content creators here on the platform, they have really good months and they also have really bad months. So it, it, it varies when I guess that's why Jessica said, yo, I can't pay you as much anymore because I'm struggling. My views are not there. I understand. Like, you have to know when you have you're going to have a good ass month and a bad month. Mostly, I don't know, depending how how big you are in the platform, it might be good months, but it all depends on the views. Right. Um, that's just coming from me, another content creator, because, yo, I've had bad, bad months where I only get paid. Not going to lie, like a thousand bucks. Bro, I can't. My bills are more than a thousand dollars. And imagine having an employee. No, I, I wouldn't be able to afford that. So also, may I mind you that the time that she said she was going to send you, Jen, me a the cash 500. advance from money that I already earned, her phone broke and she almost got stranded in Texas herself. But she has two phones. She also has a laptop that she could have had access to where she could have saw my messages where I said, oh, my God, yes, please. Thank you. So we're going to start pulling up receipts because she may or may not respond to this. And to be quite honest, I don't give a hoot and a holler. But what I'm going to do is share my story because what I'm tired of is her going online and saying things about these exposed pages. And she is no better and she has every reason to be on these pages my own friend my best friend she, witnessed she, me hold on did she say she has every reason to be on these pages so, okay so this is where it comes to these pages um this specific page 
I know you watch me expose and shenanigans or if I, I don't know your name like that, but I think it's exposing influence and shenanigans. Okay. Like I tell you guys, there's a difference between exposing and bullying. And I'm going to just be straight up with you. Cause I know you follow me. I know you're watching this. What you're doing on that page is bullying my, my guy, my girl, whoever runs that page. Right. Um, you find someone that you don't like and just go at them. You go at them for a very long time, actually. And uh, one of the persons you went at, I'm not going to mention their names, but they got demonetized maybe because of that reason. You know, um, it just it's just not cool. You got to find a, a, a stopping point where to, you know, where to where to stop bullying people on the Internet. I know people call me bully here, but in on honestly, I don't I don't. I don't think I bully. I just, you know, review videos here and give my opinions and that's about it. But I seen over there for any little thing someone does, you go after them. And I'm going to be straight up. That's not cool at all. That's not cool whatsoever. And I know you're going to post this, talk about it in your page. I've seen you talk about me over there and it's all Gucci. Um, I'm here for it. I love cheese met battle. It's not cool. At some point, at to some point, you have to know when to stop. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion on that page because I, I've seen a lot of people saying, yo, this page is doing bad. This is not cool at all whatsoever. And yeah, it comes to a point where you just got to stop the bullying, but that's the page she's talking about. And we'll get into it a little bit more because there was a, a, a voice memo sent to me anonymously which is really interesting. So we'll, we'll get into that when it when it comes. All my eyes out because I had attorney's fees and she told me she could only pay me $100 going forward. When Wait, I what? needed the money the most, Hold on. things about these exposed pages and she is no better. And she has every reason to be on these pages. Okay. My own friend, my best. So she has every reason to be bullied. Okay. According to her friend witnessed me ball my eyes out because I had attorney's fees and she told me she could only pay me a hundred dollars going forward. How is that Jessica's fault though? Like, bro, no, that's not her fault. And I know some of you guys, I might be like, oh my God, you're defending Jessica. No, I'm just stating the facts, bro. Like imagine someone was coming at you for not giving them money for not helping them out. Like, come on, that's that's what I don't see how that is her fault for not paying you a hundred dollars. I mean, fifty dollars a week is not a lot of money, or fifty dollars a day, whatever you were getting paid is not a lot of money. Um, I would recommend you know to get an actual job that might help. I don't know if you could get a job, um, I don't know what your status is, but yeah, I mean, that's not a lot of money though. <laughs> when I needed the money the most. She couldn't send me the money because something was going on with her debit card that was attached to the account that was supposed to send me money. It was always an, a constant excuse. My friend literally witnessed me bawl my eyes out trying to figure out how I was going to get back home to Pennsylvania because she hadn't paid me on time. Okay, she says she has a job. Okay, cool. So... She blocked me from her Jessica spoil page, so of course she did because. And my friends have told me to sit on this for quite some time, and I have. I've sat on it since July. It's now October, and I've had enough because of this. Mm -hmm. I'm going through things. I'm going through things with my husband, my children. I'm going through things. Okay, I was there, there was multiple times that my Internet was shut off. My phone was shut off because I couldn't pay my bill. But yet she wanted me to work. But I had no Wi-Fi. I had no phone. I had no, how am I supposed to work when you're not paying me on time and I can't even pay my bills? I agree. I wouldn't have worked either if I couldn't get on. Hey, babe, with it being so slow, this was August 12th. Mind you, and, and let me tell you, she sent me a message saying that I quit. No, you gave my job to somebody who was going to do it for free 
because she pays you in stars. That's why. Mm. Hey, babe, with it being so slow with the summer and my page and my page not being monetized right now, I have to say we need to cut back to about 10 hours a week. But once I paid, once I paid just out of the doghouse, we could ramp it, it back up. But sadly, I'm making hardly any money right now on the page and I'm losing followers. LOL. It's been horrible. Yeah, some months you do good, some months it's shitty. I'm telling you. This is terrible. This is my response. This is terrible because this is the time I could use all the money I can. My children were taken illegally, kidnapped. That I'm saving for a lawyer, saving to try and keep bills, saving to try to keep a roof over my head. I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. I told this to my lawyer. I'd come up with $400 to try and hire her for the next week. And now you're telling me this? This is really bad. I feel bad that your page is like this, but I'm literally on the verge of losing. And you don't seem to care. Bro, Jessica... Why is this her problem? Why is this her fault? Why? <laughs> this is uh, this is not her problem. This is not her fault. I know. Huh. It's just crazy to me that you do all these special things for everyone else. And me, who's losing everything and has been begging you, pleading for your help. And I've been dismissed. Not to Now told I can only work 10 hours. How is it that you've been... Bro, you still have a job. <laughs> what? <laughs> ...treating me so poorly. You offered to send me money early. And then when I had said, yes, please, that would really help me. I didn't hear from you for a week. You sent me the money early this week. But when I really needed it, you ignored me. And now you're telling me I can only work a certain amount of time of for hours a week. How is this fair, Jessica? Hey girl, my phone has been broken since Monday. I just got it replaced. So I haven't even been able to send money since I haven't had my main phone. I can still send you money in advance if you need. I just literally haven't been able to do anything to today. What special things am I doing for anyone else, hun? I wish I could see comments. You see, that's why, that's why... <laughs> To me, I like I, I was going back to the helping people. I, I, I would love to help everyone, every single body that comes to me. But at the same time, I don't know what's real. I don't know if people are, you know, just trying to get money off of me. Um, I try to help people once in a while, not a whole lot, because then if I help someone, everyone's going to come asking for help. And I just don't got that kind of money. guys. If I was Jeff Bezos or freaking Elon Musk. Yeah. For sure. I'll help all of y'all. But no, I don't have that money. And uh, I'm just careful on who I help. Just to keep keep that in mind. Because <laughs> I would love to know what you're saying. If you guys want, you can inbox me. You're more than welcome to inbox me if you can't. Oh, here we go. I'm getting Brittany. I'm getting Heather. I'm getting my friends. Okay. Skip. My God, that is beautiful. Wasn't from my friend's phone, I would have been stranded in Texas, like I was stranded. Also, originally, the job was for 10-ish hours a week, lies, four to five hours a day. But I was just trying to help you and let you go over 10. Just right now, financially, it's been so slow that I'm cutting down everyone's, even in my, even my in-house employees. I understand you're going through a lot and there's a lot I am going through as well. And I'm trying my best to make everyone happy. So I'm stretched thin. Most jobs wouldn't offer to be able to offer to send money early to help. But we're also friends. And that's why I did. Friends? Oh, she sounds And I really thanked hurt. you and I appreciated you sending a day early. But if we were friends, Jessica... Why haven't you asked if I'm okay? Ask an update on my fight to get my hands back from the very, get my kids back from the hands of the very man who tried to unalive, unalive me and injure them. Mm -hmm. 
Which is, I feel sorry for I can for, show like, you video, bad. audio of my babies praying on their knees for daddy not to unalive their mommy. No, don't show I'm that. I'm unraveling and feel alone as it is. And it's like I just keep hitting roadblocks and getting bad news. And no, I haven't really been on Facebook watching lives because I know, because I am not sure what's going on. It's why I'm confused why the message is. But I try not to bother you because I feel like when I do, I'm either a bother or dismiss. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. That 50 That's how you're gonna... doing. But I haven't had a working phone in three days and was just catching up on work-related things, but you have a phone for everybody else. By the way, I'm using a filter because I kind of... I know I'm going to get emotional. August 21st. Checking on you. Now I'm not answering. August 29th. Hello, girl. You're mad because she's not replying, but when she replies, you're not answering. <laughs> what? Now, I didn't have access to my messages for a while. My my page was hacked. And I didn't have my, I had to send my ID in and everything to get access back to my page. Now, she messages a friend of mine. And she tells a friend of mine that she saw some things that were alarming. Right. And that she wanted to know... Um, had I said anything about her to my friend, but instead of messaging me, she messaged everyone else. You weren't replying. <laughs> Come on. So here's what she says. We need to talk. Let me know when you're available. If I don't hear back from you, I'll temporarily remove your access until I do. Now, I couldn't get access to my messages. They were popping up. But when I would. She has all Jessica has all the right to remove access. It's, it's her. It's her page. And if she, if she felt something was off, of course she's going to remove access. She doesn't want to lose her freaking account. And you did just say you got hacked. So, yeah, if I was seeing something fishy, I was like, no, I'm going to remove this. Because if you guys, I think if you have admin, if you have admins, um, they could see your, your page, right? Your messages, how much you make, and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's not, it's not good. You try to if you open got up. The actual app, it was saying I was logged out. So I messaged her on Instagram. Never got a message back on Instagram. Yay or nay? Bro, Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> a lot. So could then be. I. Instagram, a lot. If you receive a lot of messages, bro, it's hard to find them. Like you're going to have to go scroll, scroll, scroll. On, um, I think on Facebook, you type in a word, like a keyword, and it pops up. I don't know if that's on Instagram too. But, uh, yeah, I've lost many messages on Instagram. I send her a message. Thank hey, you, girl. Mary. I know it's been a while. I lost access to my Facebook temporarily because hopefully very soon my ex-husband got into my account. Hence why I had no picture for a little bit. I've been dealing with a lot of my personal life and Facebook was a huge trigger for me, and I needed to step away anyway. Tried messaging you on IG because I had access to that, but I guess you never read it. When I was able to get back into my account, I saw you messaged me, but I wasn't emotionally and mentally capable to even speak out loud how my life had took a turn for the worst. Then I explained some, some things, some personal things I'd rather not discuss. But I shared some things with her Never got a response. So this Thursday, I sent her this because I had asked her for pay stubs. If you're mm -hmm. paying me and you're taking taxes out, where are my pay stubs? When I need a letter to get services, services from the human from the human services department to help me and my children get food stamps, I needed a letter stating that I was employed by her. She never gave me that letter. She claims she mailed it. You so for those that are just jumping on, this is a girl that worked for Jessica and is now exposing Jessica is spoiled. Mailed it to what? An address that I now no longer live at? But don't you have to update your address if you move from an employer? Just a question. So I, was, I said to her, I have tried to be more than patient with you. You clearly are as selfish as everybody has claimed you are. I want my pay stubs for every single time that I have been paid by you have one week uh, you have one week before I contact the Department of Labor and I'll be filing oh for unemployment God. since you fired me and never gave me a reason but reached out to my friends and asked them if I've said anything about you, you because answering. you found things that were alarming but you never had the decency to actually message me 
did this while I was going through personal things. Last warning, I want my pay stubs. Mm. Here's her response. Your letter for termination and all pay stubs have already been sent to the address that was on file. After not hearing back from you from August 12th to mid-September. But you guys, I just read to you the messages and the dates, right? And those were all after August 12th. You want to keep lying? You really want to go there with me? Dance with the devil. The devil walks on earth, baby. Oh. <laughs> we had conversations. September 15th. Okay, so here's where I'm going to bring up this audio. So, like I said, everyone that sends me audio is uh, or anything is anonymous on this page. But, uh, hold on, let me see if I could play this for y'all. Because it's interesting. So, when this girl was employed with Jessica, um, she basically said this, right? She said this. I don't know what happened, what was the deal. Maybe she was mad at Jessica, but she had this to say on... Uh, a voice memo too. I don't know who, right? This anonymous, but let's let's play it. Hold on, let me let me. I didn't have the volume up. Then she wonders why she ends up on the exposed page, but it's okay. She gonna end up on that exposed page again this week. I can promise you that. I can promise you. I will have that bitch back on the uh, exposed page by the end of this week. Bro, what? It kind of, it kind of, it kind of sounds. Uh, this is my opinion, guys. My opinion kind of sounds like you were low key working with that exposed page that doesn't like Jessica, um, the one that is always, <sighs> bro. They, I'm telling you, if they don't like a person, they just freaking go off and just any little thing they do is like, bro, come on. It's there's times where you know you expose something that they did. But bullying is not cool. And like I said, some some influencers might think I'm a bully. I, I honestly don't care and because I know I'm not. I'm just here giving my opinion on uh, situations, certain cheese men. But uh, yeah, it, they said that that audio, that memo was from when she was employed with Jessica. Like, bro, then you wondered why she fired you. But OK, let's continue. Your letter for termination, uh, yet yeah, September, that showed us you quit. If you need anything further, please email spoiledlips at gmail.com. Also, I apologize about the pay stubs, but I don't see you asking for uh, any prior messages from August. Otherwise, I would have shipped. I asked when I first started for pay stubs. Okay? Mm -hmm. So... That's the type of person she is. But here, here I go. I go on a rant. Did you ever stop to think that the shit that I was going through, the personal things that I was going through, having to travel back and forth between PA and New York, fighting my children, dealing with a narcissistic, abusive husband. No, you never thought of any of that. You just cared about what you wanted and what you needed when you needed it done and never once gave a shit about what I was going through. It honestly sounds like she she knows Jessica for years, bro. Like she knew Jessica, there were tight friends or tight homies, but <laughs> bro, you're I don't know. Although you claim to be my friend, hope you're not surprised you, that you end up unexposed. That you ended up being exposed because of what you did to me. I got your son his first slide for his birthday. Did you even say happy birthday to my kids? No. Bro, what? What? Okay, this is far, but I don't know. I, I I showed you guys that voice memo. I let you guys hear it. And rumor has it, rumor has it, she is now an admin for that page. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I just saw I just mentioned that because someone said that they have a feeling she's running that page with um that whole exposing scammers or whatever. And also, um, maybe, yeah, I don't know. But she's she's an, uh, she's an adamant rumor. Rumor has it, right? She's but I was your friend, right? I regret ever finding you, and you're a sorry excuse for a fucking human. And yes, I said that to her. Because I don't hold my tongue for anyone. 
Okay, so it just, to me, once again, it just sounds like you're very, very upset because she did not help you financially. And I'm sorry what you're going through. It's tough. A lot of people have a lot of shit going on in their lives. And, you know, you can't expect anyone to help you nowadays, um, especially if you thought this person, if Jessica, you know, you thought that she had money and she was going to, you know, be able to help you out. Yeah, don't don't expect anything from anyone. That's one lesson my mom taught me when I was growing up. She said, don't expect shit from anyone. And, bro, it's true. It's true. You can't be expect, especially money, bro. And that was the last message. Oh, that's really pretty. I have to escape because of music. I have the spoiled lips tattoo on my hand. Oh, yeah, she did have she got tatted the spoiled lips at this point is like, bro, are you really like are you really down for the company or is it obsession? I don't know. I don't know. But why? Why would you get a, a, a tattoo of the company you work for? Um, not even me. I would never get a cheese report tattoo. That's just me. Which I'll be having my tattoo artist do a cover up. But that's, you know, a story for another day. Mm -hmm. I went hard for this woman. Yeah. And everybody knows. I used to be live doing my makeup and she'll go live and I'd get off just to accommodate her. Up till 6 a.m. clearing out her messages. Like I said, minimum wage, minimum effort. I'm not going to be going above and beyond for a job that pays $10 an hour. No offense. Yeah, no, this is, like I said, it sounds uh, like you were really obsessed. People were being, people were being blocked. She had like six admins at one point and people were randomly being blocked. And I was being blamed because I was a new admin. You know what I mean? But Masai, not right now. <laughs> you know, I'm a former addict. You reached out to her, didn't you? About a collab with me. I can't right? listen to this. To, to promote mental health. I used to do Mommy and Me Mental Health Mondays with my children. She ignored my friend's request. Maybe you should think or talk, you know. But, you know, she don't do collabs with people that can't make her money. Sorry. You know, she already admitted that on one of her lives. It's a business, bro. <laughs> you it's a business when you have your own you she understand. also admitted that she don't help anybody that messages her for help she'd rather help out of the kindness of her heart mm -hmm. every time she was live and just that's what i say i rather if if i feel in my heart i'm gonna do it i'm not i can't help every single one that comes to me guys i wish i could but i don't got the money like that i'm broke so she would jump <laughs> I would be up at till six in the morning, clearing out her messages to make sure the important people got their chicken dinners, had the addresses and everything. Right. Is she? Um, and I had to get up at eight to get my children ready for school. Yeah. Was the, were those your hours though? How many times, <laughs> Diana, did I drop what I was doing to go to help this woman? Plenty. When I was going through it, what did I say? I'm sitting here working for her. And she dropped my hours to a hundred to a hundred dollars a week when I needed the money the most to pay no. for a fucking attorney mm -hmm. to keep my phone on. And she likes to sit and go on live and act like she's a freaking saint and helps everyone. No. Her own employee. Bro, okay. So I, I see some people are getting over it. No one's a saint. Not even myself. No one is perfect in this world, right? Um, but I'm going to go back to this. She, I, I feel like she's hurt because Jessica did not help her financially. And you can't expect anything from anyone nowadays. Um, just never in life. But, um, yeah, it's just... I feel like you're hurt because you did not get what you were expecting. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. I know there's haters here. Um, you know, people saying why why are you guys defending Jessica? It's not defending her. It's just what I'm seeing. It's just what we're seeing right here. Um, this is obvious, right? It's common sense, but 
yeah, I'm seeing you guys are over this lady. Um, I'm just going to play a little bit more. I want to see what she has to say about this. But, uh, yeah, I just, it's tough. It's tough, y'all. And I'm so sorry I can't read anybody's um, comments. It's probably because we're not friends on Facebook. Let me skip. For? Maybe I didn't have a disability. So, you know, oh, wait, let's I, that she noticed me and shared me. Mm -hmm. But I guess maybe I wasn't. I wasn't the look she was going for. Maybe I didn't have a disability. So, you know. I look at the girls that she allows on her page. The people who claim to be. To be what? Essayed. <laughs> you know what I mean? She has that type of people on her page, though. She has wow. people that scam on her page, though. I'm going to be in a domestic violence shelter. All right, but you guys get the point. She went on and said, yo, um, this happened. And they were hyping it up on that uh, shenanigans page, whatever it's called. Like I said, I know they watch me exposing shenanigans or I don't even know your page. I'm sorry. Let me let me read it here. Um, oh, what's it called? Hold on. Let me I'm typing it in. Exposing scammers and influencer shenanigans. They have two pages, right? Um, listen, I know. I know you guys were hyping this up over there for the past a week or two because um, I saw it. And I also saw my name involved in one of the comments saying, oh, blah, 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 whatever. I don't care. But like I said, there comes to a point where you have to know the difference between exposing and bullying people. What you guys are doing is not cool. You guys are for real, like straight up just bullying the shit out of everyone. And you made people lose money um, for little shit. You made them get demonetized for a little shit which is not cool but um yeah i just don't understand why you guys keep targeting certain people um i don't know that's just my opinion about that page but um yeah i know you support the cheese report or well, you used to support because after this i don't know if they're gonna be supporting this page anymore i don't i honestly don't care um but yes cheese is not about bullying it's about you know just having fun sharing opinions, freaking drinking coffee, whatever you want to drink, getting your snacks. It's just about that. It's not about bullying. And um, yeah. But that's all I have for you guys today. We covered the video. I know the reason I stopped was because, you know, you guys were over it. You guys were like, oh, stop. Because I, I saw some some comments saying, Danny never watches the full videos. I just listen to my people, y'all. If, they, if they're tired of it, we're going to stop. Because why have them here? Why have them suffering over a damn 50 minute video, right? Um, I would never expect, expect, hold on, this is a good one. Where'd it go? I would never uh, expect my boss to do any of that either. Yeah, like if you work a nine through five for a corporate job, <laughs> bro, they don't care what goes on at home. I mean, some do, which is good, but mostly, bro, here's your paycheck. Go pay your bills or something uh did you see they call cps on her for leaving her boy at the pool and attending like what the fuck yeah so you guys know this about me i don't like when people involve real life shit like when they go call cps for someone on the internet like come on don't you're don't do that <laughs> please um but yeah, that was a rough one. I'm going to go grab a drink. Yes, go grab a drink. I'm going to be here for another 10 minutes or so. And then I'll head out and uh, probably do another video, another update on um, actually not another update. This is just an update on the Jacksons of Atlanta. If you guys haven't heard about them, scroll down on this page. You will see the full video. But maybe we'll talk about that next later on, depending if you guys are up for it. If not, we will wait for tomorrow. Um, this lady acts like my sister is all about her. Jessica does a lot for people. It must be the reason why she got rid of her. Yeah. I missed the whole thing. Sorry. If you're, um, if you're coming in right now, make sure to replay it and comment hashtag replay. That way, you know, uh, what the deal is, or I know what the deal is. You guys came after, but yep, right now we're just going to chat with you guys and see what you guys have to think about or your opinion about this. The cheese, my report. 
fact. Um, who is she? Someone that tried to expose Jessica is spoiled. Mm. Uh, let's see. Okay, I read this comment. So people also wanted me to talk about a situation Jessica did. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it right now or later, uh, like a separate video, but um, s apparently she left a baby, her baby by the pool. Um, I saw the picture, right? I saw the picture, and at first glance, I'm like, oh, shit, what the fuck? But once you see the whole context, it's it's the same page, guys. They just attack, attack Jessica or certain people, right? Once you see the full context, bro, Jessica is well aware. She's literally there the whole time. But once you see just that picture, you're like, oh, shit, this looks bad. But no, she's there the whole time watching him. And it's just the people that, you know, the people that hate her guts, bro. It's it's well, it's it's sad to this point. It's sad. How about them strolls? How about them? They, they made it to the freaking World Series. Congrats to y'all. But still, go Phillies. <laughs> Sorry. See the whole damn picture. So at least she did nothing. Um, the only pain, like, is you because it's opinions and not just hate, hate, hate. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I just, you know, give a space where I could give my thoughts. You guys could give your thoughts. Um, sometimes people take it as bullying, but I'm not here posting every single day on someone I hate. Uh, maybe in the past I used to because I did not know, you know, about this other thing. Um, thank you, Paul. Appreciate that. Yes, I'm gonna just keep doing me. Um, I'm not gonna lie because when I first started this, I thought you had to hate everyone you talked about, but no, it's uh, it's not about hate, guys. It's not about bullying. Um, it's about you know just sharing your thoughts, sharing your opinions with others, and yeah, that's that's about it. But yes, some people like that page just love to hate. And bully. If we have cheese made, do we send it to you? Yes, send it my way um, on my direct message, Messenger. Thank you, Kimberly. Star party, guys, go. Uh, thank you for the stars. Bay Bay video. Fido, though. I know I saw that, Queen. Queen Slay. I saw that. Good for you. Congrats, dude. I'm, I'm happy for you. That shit was, well, it hit, it's hitting 600K. Um, uh, so shout out to you. Um, I heard now you're doing impressions of others I've talked about. So I saw CMC was on there. Um, who else did you do? Oh, you're going to do Dr. Fake next. <laughs> Spread the cheese, man, not hate. Yes, exactly. Know the difference, too, guys. Know the difference between cheese, man, hate. Because sometimes you guys want me to. I'm not saying you guys in the chat. Oh, thank you, Ashley, for uh, the 50 stars. Star what pictures guys, being go. talked about. Um, it's a screenshot. Thank you, Deborah. Star party, guys, it's a go. screenshot of uh, where they took where Jessica was live and she was like on her phone. Well, it was on a stand, I guess. And her son was in the background and people, I guess, took it out of context. Like she was there the whole time. It's not something where we saw um, what's her name, Gigi and what we saw with um, Ye Yaima. Sorry for bringing you guys up, but yeah, I love your star bite. Thank you, your star sound bite. Appreciate that. But uh, yeah, just don't say cut the cheese. You know that meaning. No, I don't know what that means. Cut the cheese? Like cut the cheese, man? Like no more cheese, man? I honestly don't know what that means. Uh, I can't see why would he spend that money. Dr. Fake. Yeah, Dr. Fake is out of... Well, thank you, Kimberly, party, guys, for 200. Go. Um, check the age. She's live. Make up, please. Uh, just don't say. Oh, it means fart. <laughs> yeah, star party, guys. Um, I I love that you guys love that sound bite. <laughs> if you say cut the cheese, it means fart. Oh, I did not know that. Interesting. I learned something new every day with you guys. So. Um, why does it mean, why does it mean fart? <laughs> I don't know why it means that. Be prepared for the hate, Danny. Yes, I know. I know. I'm getting a lot of hate. And honestly, I don't care, guys. Um, I don't like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even the good guy here, y'all. 
Um, some people don't look at me as a good guy, and that's fine. Um, people have their own opinions about me. About I could have my own opinions about others. But, um, yes, I'm prepared for the hate. And am I going to respond to it? Probably not. Um, so we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Cry me a river. We'll see. They just nitpick everything she does. She can't fart the wrong way. Yes, bro, I was on this. This is the last thing I'm going to say about them. I was on their page, right? And you, Jessica, for those that don't know, is a is a makeup artist, a content creator on um, on the platform on Facebook, and she did this whole spider look. And she, they were telling her that she copied this other artist. I'm like, bro, you know how many people do that spider look every single year? I'm like, why are you just like any little thing? Like someone said, she could fart and she farted the wrong way. Like it's not cool, y'all. You are a bad person, LO. I know. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, Queen Slay. <laughs> Appreciate that. Everyone go block Queen I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, Queen Slay is Bay Bay. The one the video I showed you guys. Um, he's doing reactions now, so good for him. Good for my guy. Uh Jessica is not obligated. It has no obligation to her. Yes, exactly. Uh why do people get bothered so? With other people's opinions, stop that. You can agree to disagree and be respectful. Yes, exactly. Um, like I always say, I, you guys have your own opinion. I don't care, but this is just coming from me. If you guys agree with it, cool. If you guys don't, cool. Um, so, yeah. Cut the cheese, uh, Danny. It's the oldest in the book. <laughs> I sorry, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm still on the younger side. <laughs> I'm still on the younger side. Um, but yeah, if you, uh, let me see, if you work for her, you can't just disappear. I wouldn't have you working for me. Disappear. You didn't get fired. You disappeared. Yeah. Like she just, she just vanished. So, I mean, plus she was saying stuff about, you know, during her hired or during when she was working for Jessica, she said that she was going to have her on the, that page. I'm like, bruh. You're fired. <laughs> Good thing I work for myself. This is what you do say. Talk about influencers. How you want to get attention. I feel fa bad for you, sir. Yeah, Ashley Mustard. Yeah, I guess. Um, I stay here and just talk about others. Like I said, I'm the TMZ for Facebookers. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I give my opinions about others because some things they do is shouldn't be on the internet. Um. And, yeah, it's not always bad stuff I talk about, you know. Um, it could be, oh, they got in a relationship. But even that, they take it out of context. <laughs> oh, so sad. I know, I know. It's really sad. But thank you for watching, though. Uh, them Packers making me cry. <laughs> Don't even talk about the Packers. I, bro, I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing sports this year. My team suck, bro. <laughs> I knew we were going to lose to the Bills. I didn't. I wasn't even going to watch it. <laughs> I wasn't going to watch it. Love what you do, Danny. Keep it up. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, love watching, Danny. Thank you. Love you guys. Appreciate that. Why is she mad? He's getting paid for what we, are. He's getting paid for what we all already do. Gossip. Yeah. And this page is honestly, it's literally gossip. I try to put everything in one. That way you guys don't have to go to five different pages and find it. I try to have it here all at once for you guys. Um, so, yeah, this is what the page is about. The ones out here in the comments supporting me. Thank you guys so much. Shout out Paul. Paul. Um, but, yep. Uh, he's not a promoter. He brings cheese my report. If you made, <laughs> if you like to shout out Paul in the comments, um, yeah, I already said I gave a shout out to Paul. Paul's been a supporter for a long time. Well, since I started this um, this page, so shout out to Paul. Um, that's another person people wanted me to talk about for like the littlest shit ever. Which I did not see. Like when I see, when people tell me, oh, talk about this. I, I honestly have to go see because if it's not bad, like if it's not bad, I'm not going to talk about it. Um, so, yeah, people were just upset on him. 
Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm probably going to head out. Like I said, I have, I'm working on another cheeseman for you guys. Uh, don't forget the orange pumpkin bits. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I totally forgot about that, Jessica. Um, they also, <laughs> okay, this might be the last thing I'm going to say about that page. They also got mad at Jessica. Thank you for bringing it up because I don't know what she was doing. I guess she was either coloring pumpkins with her son, but they got mad at her because her son painted the pumpkin blue instead of orange. Like, bro, what? They try to make something out of that. I'm like, oh, this is too fucking much. Like, really? Uh, come on. But it is what it is. I mean, I guess um, I'm going to hate. I'm going to get hate for that, too. <laughs> um, why was Jessica Hart's comment deleted? I don't know. I did not delete that. I don't have admins. Tell your girl, tell your homegirl, uh, see it. Hold on. Where'd it go? CMC. Hello. Hey, they said hello. Star party guys go. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, tell wifey we said hello. Thank you. I will. Uh, but yeah, I'm, they just nitpick y'all, but just be aware on, uh, some pages. I'm new. I love you, dad. Thank you. Thank you for being new. Appreciate you. Hmm. But yeah, I'll um, um like I said, I'm working on a new video. I'm well, not video, but cheese mess. So I'll probably have that either later on or tomorrow. Uh, but thank you, honestly, guys, for tuning in, in today's cheese mess report. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it, and uh, I I do literally appreciate every single one of you guys that was that was on here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next one, y'all. Peace.